Hey guys, good morning. It is early. <laughs> it is 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Happy Thursday. Uh, uh, now, if you watched yesterday's videos, you know that uh, I had a rough couple days and I didn't quite bounce back as much as I thought yesterday. So I'm still a little, things, <laughs> things are still a little rough. I had a few uh, epiphanies this morning um, for two good videos. The first one I want to talk about as we get back, uh, Connecticut's going to hit phase two in uh, reopening uh, next Wednesday. Same day as I'm going into the hospital for hip replacement surgery, but so I'm not going to get to enjoy any of it. But um, we're getting out more, more stuff's opening up, and we see America coming back. We see our life coming back. Um, next Thursday, the gyms, uh, the bars, the movie theaters, to some extent, are reopening again. Stores are all reopening. And uh, it's funny, because now with everything coming back, I think it, it gives me more of a sense of honesty looking back. When, when, you, when I go through, when you go through things, I, I think it's just human nature to adapt to it and just kind of put your head down and push through it. Let's take, for instance, the surgery. As is my surgery coming up Thursday or next Wednesday, I realize how much it's affected me over the last six months, you know, and I wasn't honest with myself. But now that there's an end in sight, hopefully, uh, I can be a little more honest on how much it actually affected me. Because when you, we're, he, the human nature, I think, is to try to just to push forward, to push through each day despite the obstacles, kind of not ignore them, but just put your head down and go through them. And as the end of the tunnel gets a little closer, I think the light comes back on and you realize how much the trip through this tunnel affected you. So what I wanted to talk about, I, I thought back to uh, the Michigan State House and all those men showing up not just with a gun but incredibly heavily decked out in, in every armament they had in their arsenal from knives to from just under bazookas and flamethrowers uh to surge into the capital to confront lawmakers because their damn it their freedoms were being taken and i thought about that this morning and i'm like and I had to ask myself, was that really just about masks and social distancing? Um, I know it's still going on now, and it's going to go on for the conceivable future. But with us being more able to get out, uh, it doesn't seem as much as a burden. Not to me, at least. You know, it seems like there's an end in sight. And uh, it's a lot more doable to wear the masks and the social distancing now. Distancing now. You know, we see the end. We see if we see a, a, a this being resolved. So it's like, okay, you know, I'm used to this. You know, it's what I got to do. No problem. But two, two, about two months ago, that wasn't the feeling. And uh, I had to ask myself, you know, it, was that really what that was about? Are you kidding me? Heavily armed with all sorts of weaponry and vests, tactical vests. I look back at that over masks and social distancing, really? And then I thought about those people, those people doing that. Those were more or less the survivalists, the people that are supposed to be prepared for any eventuality in this country, supposedly. Um, you know, they, they, I, I, from, from my point of view, it, it appears their goal is to get through stuff like this. And yet they handled it worse than anyone else. How could that be? <laughs> they showed up at a, at a state house with unarmed legislators going about their daily business, fully armed with tactical gear like they were going to war because they had to wear a mask over their mouth, a paper mask. And this was the end of their world, the end of their freedom by God. They could not deal with this. 
This has to end. This tyranny has to end. And these are the people that claim to be the ready ones. The ready for when the apocalypse comes, you know? When the, when the this, this stuff really hits the fan. You know, what, what if this, this virus gave us all sorts of lesions and instant death and, and, and the kind, you know, what if it was a hundred times worse? These people would have freaking folded in the first five minutes. They would, they would have run down the street shooting everybody. These are the least prepared, the least mentally prepared people, obviously. Um, look, I, I just, I hope we all learn something from this, especially, especially if any of you guys from Michigan or you survivalist guys are watching, I know you're going to, you're not going to like this. You're not going to like what I have to say, but for God's sake, man, do better next time. I mean, if this is your thing, this is America, it's your freedom, it's your right. If you want to prepare yourself, go for it. But for God's sake, don't fall apart like a screaming child next time. About your rights and tyranny. Oh my God, I got to wear a mask. I got to stand five feet away from, and it's not even your family that you have to distance yourself from. Strangers, who cares? Why do you want to be six feet closer to any stranger anyway? And I'm, you know, and a mask, it makes no sense. You know, most people, a mask, especially people, some people don't mind wearing a mask. You get used to it. It hides a lot of your frustrations and emotions, and it it comes in actually convenient. Um... And I would think especially to these survivalist types, because they seem to be more clannish. And you would think that around strangers, they'd be more guarded. Therefore, a mask would be right up their alley. Just a thought. Just a thought. And I put all this together this morning. And I looked back at the Michigan, the pictures from the Michigan State House, With them rushing the steps. Fully armed. I mean, that's just, that is just embarrassing right now. Man, if I were any of you guys that were standing on those steps and those pictures all, all against that wall, those pictures are all over the world now. And you look like a bunch of crybabies. Seriously. Over max, max and, and social distancing? Really? Oh, man. If you guys are our last hope, we're, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. I, I think you guys, I know you're heavily armed. I'm trying to watch what I say because you guys are obviously uh, very touchy. All right. Well, anyway, I hope we do better next time. Man up. <laughs> Have a good Thursday.